the first step of home brewing is literally as exciting as watching water boil. It takes a long time, but eventually you get there and it's time to put in the ingredients. Home brewing was an illicit activity from the start of Prohibition until President Carter legalized the hobby in 1978. Even today, with craft breweries making every beer flavor imaginable, making one's own still appeals to many Americans. For home brewing, we have a big range from young adult all the way up to people that have been making, for beer, making beer for years. Chris Votney and her husband Neil run wine creations on Highway 53. They sell supplies for winemaking and home brewing. Home brewing allows people to make anything from a non-intoxicating small beer to something with more flavor and kick. Some home brewers do it to save money on their favorite styles. I think it's a little of both. What um, a lot of our home brewers like is they can um, personalize their batch into their own flavors, whatever they like the best. The Votneys even sell supplies to craft breweries. Recently, a brewer from Warrior Brewing on West Superior Street stopped by for bottle caps. He says those getting into home brewing need to remember that cleanliness is the most important ingredient in a brew. Always completely clean everything that you brew with because if you don't, in your next batch that you brew, you're going to get flavors from the last thing you brewed into your new batch and it's going to be different than what you want it to turn out to be. So cleanliness is pretty important in brewing. Neil Votney tells us that most beginners brew with easy to use extracts, but the hobby is big enough in the Northland where many more experienced customers want whole grains to make beer from scratch. We sell a lot of bulk grain, larger bags for people that make bigger batches. Ales are the easiest styles to brew because they can succeed in a wide variety of temperature conditions. Lager beers take more time and skill to do right. When a batch turns out right, people are hooked. Once people try it, uh, they love it and the price is reasonable. In Hermantown, Dave Anderson, Northern News Now.